In 2001, JEA made a voluntary decision to reduce nitrogen loads from all of its wastewater treatment facilities by 50%. We wanted to find the top five experts in the industry that developed BNR processes. And then we met over a series of two years in workshops where we looked at all of the plant data and we basically designed concept plans for five plants to reduce the nitrogen level by 50% at each plant. So out of that project, we decided to award Arlington East upgrades to Hazen and Sawyer. At that time, the plant, originally constructed in the 1970s, was a 20 million gallon per day secondary treatment plant with no nutrient removal. Arlington East was an interesting plant that was producing pretty good effluent. Our nitrogen levels, just during normal operations, were somewhere between 9 and 10 milligrams per liter. Our goal was to get below 6. One of the challenges on this plant was to build a primary clarifier. The second challenge was is, is to find a way to convert the MLE process to step feed. We were seeing somewhere between 14 and 15 million gallons a day on a 20 MGD plant. So it was 75% loaded and we were going to have to take basins off while we worked. We also had splitter boxes that had to come offline and be bypassed. And uh, these were all challenges that Hayes and Sawyer stepped up and found ways to uh, deliver the product. The project ultimately resulted in the implementation of a novel secondary treatment process which combines step feed with internal recycle pumping to most efficiently make use of the existing aeration basin volume. This is currently the only facility using this process configuration. It was the smoothest project I've ever been involved with as far as any major construction. We had no permit violations at all. In fact, as the project progressed, we're getting better and better results. The target total nitrogen for the plant was 5.6 milligrams per liter. Uh, we have averaged over the last 12 months 4.3. Uh, we had a low in September of last year of uh, 3.4 parts per million. Construction sequencing was carefully planned to keep the existing plant in service. Plant effluent total nitrogen continued to drop during the construction period. The project ultimately reduced effluent nitrogen loads by almost 70 percent and exceeded all expectations. And it saved us a lot of money. We went from about 280 to 300 million dollars to about, I think we're going to be at about 67 million total for the BNR and the capacity increased at the end of the project, which is, which is extremely inexpensive for what we got out of it. Completed four months ahead of schedule, the project demonstrated that a cost-effective solution for optimizing total nitrogen removal is achievable.